everyone, Wonderbot here, and welcome to SteamWorld Build, or at least kind of a preview demo as part of the Steam Builder Festival. Uh, there's too much steam going on. Anyway, so Thunderful was kind enough to reach out and ask for me to do a sponsored video based on the SteamWorld Build demo that's going to be part of this. I think I have access to a little bit more content than what's in the demo, so I got some limitations on what I can do. So we're going to pick New Game, go to Grand Gully, because that's the only one I can show off. There's a couple more that I can, like, show the postcards for, uh, but we can't do any of those. We can only do Grand Gully. I'm going to turn off the tutorial, because I've already done it. And we're going to go dig him. Perfect. All right, so we're going to dive in, and I got some talking points for you. But I guess the one thing I will say is that the demo is available on Steam now. Uh, so if you guys want to give this a shot, go check it out. See all those stars up there? That's where we'll live once we escape this world. There's so many. Which one? Whichever one you won't get up. How will we get all the way up there, Pa? Mm. By following my plan, little friend. What are you planning? I am here to get you all to safety. It is the sole purpose of my existence. Lucky that Paul found you then. Sure is nice with someone looking out for us. Quite. How will you help us then? Allow me to explain. Long ago, a great horde of ancient technology was buried here. Technology that has the power to do what you need. Buried deep, deep below the earth. But as you see, I quite lack the ability to dig it up. Pa and I are really good at digging up things. Yes, you bots are excellent for manual labor. But do not think it will be an easy journey, my eager friend. We have to go further down than you would ever think possible. And only once we reach the very bottom of the world, we will find your way to the stars. Well, if it won't be easy, then I'll need the best second in command to make sure we get there. Who's that? You, of course. Wow. Does that mean I'm gonna be a hero like you? Heroes give people hope, yeah? You've always given me that, kiddo. Must mean you've always been one. <laughs> Look, Pa, I see it! I see it! The mine shaft! All right, folks. Time to get to work. So, I'm pretty sure this is a prequel to SteamWorld Dig 2. I'm, it might also be a prequel to SteamWorld Dig 1 as well. I guess the real question of where is Rusty in this mix? And I'm not, I'm not quite sure on that one, but I guess it doesn't matter too much. All right, is this we'll the same map? Yeah. We'll have to stay map? focused yeah. in order to get to the old tech and escape this rock. You hear that? Something is making a noise. Probably just some old hinges on the mineshaft elevator that are creaking. We'll get working in no time. You better. I'll be ruined if this doesn't work out. Do you hear? Ruined. We'll need to get this city up and running first and foremost, though. Squeeze the area for resources and the people for all that they're worth. That's mighty harsh, ma'am. Just get it done. Yeesh. Okay, so let's take a look at a couple of things. So, uh, I guess I should probably explain some basics for the gameplay. Like I said, I've done the tutorial already, and so I'm going to go kind of fast. I want to get uh, some basic roads here. This is this is the old mine shaft all the way out here. This is going to cost me a pretty penny, and, you know, maybe I should be a little bit more uh, careful with my cash. But this is fine. I just want to lay some roads out preemptively, because I know I'm going to need some stuff. So... First and foremost, we've got uh, all sorts of buildings here to work with. It, uh, I guess first and foremost, this is a town builder, uh, if it's not immediately obvious. Uh, which, honestly, I was not exactly expecting, but the SteamWorld developers have been nothing but prolific when it comes to uh, coming up with interesting new 
I guess, games to... Or games? Interesting new genres to kind of mix in. The first game was kind of more of a, a diggy game. The second game was a tactical... Um, was kind of like an XCOM-style tactical game. Third was a full-on Metroidvania with digging, which I thought was kind of neat. Fourth was a RPG? And then they made the gunk, and now we're here. Uh, so what are we even up to? I think we can't do anything for the moment. We're mostly just waiting for these people. Nope, I think I need one more. Yeah, I don't have the tutorial currently enabled, uh, which is fine. But it means I don't have the guide rails carrying me through. So, other things that I should note uh, while I'm getting this all set up. So, it's a unique take on the city builder genre. So, instead of just building like a, a settlement up, there's actually an end. And technically, we want to build down. I can't show it off at the moment because we don't actually have the mine shaft fixed up. But that's fine. Okay, so we've got a warehouse. we got workers. So, we've got the sawmill. And if you notice, we actually have our resource chains kind of simultaneously line, or lined up here, but it, it'll show you the full resource chain. And so instead of saying like, you know, uh, let's see, this will probably get rid of it. I don't quite know if I put this here, but delete both. I don't think, I don't think we need to worry about it too much. Foresters will replant trees if needed. So now we got two of those and we're gonna need one warehouse kind of in the, the immediate vicinity. Uh, let's see. Within range, deliver their goods to warehouses for storage. Resources are shared between uh, warehouses. So it doesn't actually look like I need to... Uh, I, I don't actually need to have this warehouse anywhere close to my base. So I'm going to put it all the way out here. And right. We also need workers, service shop. No, I want the mill. So each of these lumber, these foresters produce uh, four wood. So effectively, you can have one forester uh, per mill. Okay, so I'm losing money, which is a bit of an issue, mainly because I do not have enough people. Uh, let's see. So other other things to note about this, this is coming out sometime, I think, later this year with no release date set. And it's going to be coming out on PC, PS5, PS4, Xbox One, Series X, Xbox Series X, S, and Switch. So as far as I can tell, that's actually just every platform. Uh, let's see. I'm going to need another marketplace in here. It's fine. Uh, that's why I kind of set this up. I might actually want to make this a little wider. Um, here. What I'm probably going to want to do is kind of zigzag these. So if you notice, this has a limited range. Uh, it goes for a fair while, but it's, it's kind of a diamond pattern around where it is. Limited by roads. And so we want to make my people generally as happy as possible. I really don't care that I'm losing money. It does not matter to me. I've got thousands and I'm not spending too much of it. This could become a problem eventually, but it's not going to be a problem now. Uh, let's see, we also have a whole bunch of decorations. I'm just going to click through so I don't have to worry about the exclamation mark. Kind of hope they make it so you can actually right click on this just to hide. Uh, but as far as I can tell, yeah, you can't you can't tell it be, uh, say like, yeah, I don't I don't really need to see that there's a cat on the bench. I appreciate it telling me where all the new things are, but... Okay, so I'm gonna just stick this here. We're just gonna kind of have these working on diagonals. There's probably a more efficient way of me doing this. Let's see. But I don't fully know. And yeah, we're low on boards. I'm just gonna build a bunch of these now rather than waiting, even though we're kind of limited based on boards. I can always move them whenever I want. The move tool has like no limitations, so I can just take this house and be like, you don't belong here, and then just eat it elsewhere. It's still gonna take some time, and I'll probably wanna pause while I just rapidly redevelop the entire city. Wait, can I click on this? Oh, I can. Tumble, tumblewood, cool. So I can actually snag some spare money and other resources just here. Huh. I just saw it rolling by and I'm like, I bet I can click on that. And I was correct. So, other things we need to work on. Uh, a, we can get a cactus farm. I might have to get a couple of these. I don't think the farms need to care. Or care in the slightest. About, uh, I don't think they care in the slightest about where they're placed. 
Foresters, we actually do have to worry about fertility. And I know at some point we're going to be getting sand. If you notice, these areas are a little bit sandier. That's, that's something I'm going to have to pay attention to, too. But not at the moment. So our main goal at the moment is to get up to 120 workers, which we're getting there. Uh, I don't know how full up these houses are. Billable workers, 58, 50 are employed. I just don't know how many, how much space I've got. See, needs not satisfied. Yeah, we're just waiting on the wood to roll in. Hopefully we get another tumbleweed or these will be done at some point. I guess I could look around. Is there anything else? No, I can't go that, that direction. Uh, ba -ba -ba. Ah, here we go. Get a little bit more. I'll just keep an eye out for these things, because, uh, boy, they are worth it. I don't know how much we need money overall over the course of this game. Not enough. Not enough space. I'll probably get another one of these at some point. Oh. And it needs, it needs a warehouse. Wait. Okay, not connected. Okay, squeezes juice from cacti to make cactus water. Question. So, the marketplace. My okay. I gotta. I gotta test this. We're gonna. We're gonna move the whole dang farm. I'm just gonna move it here. Okay, maybe right, maybe right here. I wanted to test with this. Oh, got to be moved. Okay, takes three. So if I put it here, can I give it some fields? I'm going to do that for now. We might be able to get another one. But my main thing is we have obviously a limited amount of space to kind of work with here. And so my logic is maybe this will be fine. Well, I think by people, yeah, so it looks like this is how we distribute certain goods. So I don't actually have to have a uh, basic service for your workers by supplying them with general goods. And that seems to include... Uh, cactus water. Okay, so that means we can get the charcoal kiln elsewhere. Here's a question. Can I extend the... I can extend the road this direction. I was kind of afraid that the train would just, like, body somebody crossing the tracks. And you know what? If that happens over the course of this, I'm going to laugh uproariously. But I'm also going to hope it doesn't happen because that would be kind of dark. Okay, so I want this to be as fertile as possible. There we go. Because we want to stack as many as we can in an immediate area. Is this worth it? Or is it based on the land? Yeah, the main question is, do I want to go for an 85? It might be fine. Because if I put that there, fertility is 0%. There's just not enough trees. Uh, let's see. 0%. Otherwise, we could actually have a little bit more out here. Yeah, it looks like we're just kind of hard locked. Okay. I'm just going to make this one giant loop. There we go. So all we need is just a warehouse here. And if I go back to this. Yeah, so we don't have to worry about proximity when working on any of these things. So I'll start working on um, I'll start work on uh, charcoal kiln as well. And we're going to need some more houses. That's fine. I'll just, I don't know, figure it out. Put it here for now. It's going to yell at me because they can't reach the train station. That's not a problem. Then I'm going to move this here because it's going to bug me otherwise. Praise the grid. Okay, is this hooked up? It's mostly hooked up. These people do not... Do you have a market? Barely. But they don't have a... Okay. 
Why don't we, um... Why don't we try moving some things? What if I move this here? Okay, so I was correct. By having having these more centrally located, they have a decent amount of coverage and cover pretty much this entire block. Uh, I'll have to scale it up and scale it around a little bit uh, to truly make it work, but at least for now, I think it's fine. I think we could also extend this here and maybe out here a little. The only immediate problem is this corner is kind of bad, but it's fine because we can now start getting some engineers in a moment. We still need to fix up the train station. We should have plenty of people. Train the station's up. up and running again. We'll be able to ferry in supplies much easier. Wait, what's that? Well, look here. Someone was hiding back there in the shadows. Oh my, no. Not hiding. Sleeping. The train is running. Hello? It's just an old rusty bot. I can have my enforcer throw him out. Yep. Damn, that's a cool cowboy. Ma'am, that ain't no way to treat a stranger. We're happy to meet you. I don't want to be a stranger. I am the trader. This is what I do. I think I can conduct all your trade. The train listens to me. That sounds mighty helpful, partner. Welcome aboard. I will join. The rumbling of the ground scares me. Why can't I remember? I almost wonder if the trader actually was uh, here back in the the olden days. In order yeah, to get the mine shaft up and running, we'll need the engineers. But there are still many unknowns to overcome before we can reach the old technology below. You mean there's stuff you don't know? Well, that's a surprise. Charming. It's unlikely that you may have any other questions that I do not possess the answer to. Well, if that's the case, Smarty Pants, I've been hearing this weird song since we came here. Almost like a sad song. Do you know what that could be? It confirms my suspicions. You can hear it. So you hear it too? No, I do not hear it. But I can sense it. What is it then? The city that used to exist here was entirely dependent on the technology that powered it. This technology all responded to the same control signal. The old signal. That is what you're hearing. You know, I bet Rusty's not in this game if Pepper's got a little Rusty doll. Anyway, uh, let's see. We also have item mods, which I'm really curious about, but we don't have access to that yet. So, next order of business... We want to upgrade a whole bunch of these, if I can. Alright, and that's going to piss some people off, as we need to actually supply them with some things. So we have the Moonshiner. I'm most curious if, if the Moonshiner needs to be attached to these. Distills cactus water into tasty moonshine for your engineers to celebrate with. It doesn't seem to... Okay. When placing down a marketplace, you can tell it's affecting the... Uh, the, the houses. So here, the saloon, most assuredly, is actually affecting a house. So I'm going to move this here. So it looks like the only thing I actually need in this, in the town center is a saloon. Everything else is going to wait. I don't, we don't even, we're not actually delivering moonshine. Why are you guys happy about the, I guess they just know what's coming. All right. So we got to make a sand sifting factory. And we've got a whole heck ton of sand just everywhere. Uh, let's see. I'm going to put this... Oops. That's 93% for fertility. There we go. 100%. I don't think we need too much more. So let's get a glass blower down. Question. Can I move this one more? Yes. Because this way I can get the glass blower right next to it. Oh, that cost this for some fertility though. Okay. So I'm not doing that. Still costing it some fertility. Yeah. Wait, here's a question. If I pull this further back then and just put a road to it. There, it's 100%. And then if I just extend this here, then we don't, don't need to worry about it. And this can just be here. With no limitation, waiting for resource delivery, low production. So, we check this. No? 
I think it's fine. Okay, producing demand. So we're producing four sand. We have a demand of two. So we could probably actually get a second uh, second glass blower on this. I'm going to put it over here this time, though. Because I'm almost wondering if I, if I don't even need my sand production to be anywhere near anything. Because all warehouses share... Uh, all warehouses kind of share location, or location, share resources between them. I'm just going to put this here. Because I don't, I don't think we, yeah, waiting for resource delivery. But maybe, we, maybe that's fine? I don't know. I'll have to keep an eye on this. We are going to need some more workers and we are going to need some more engineers. Uh, let's see. So, uh, ha. I've kind of run out of space here, which is a little unfortunate. So I'm just going to move these people here. I'm really curious about the uh, station. You know what? Actually, I'm just going to demolish the two of them. Get our resources back. Because I truly don't think it's helping us. Okay, demolish all of this empty land. We don't need it. It has no benefit to us. And this gives us enough room. To get some more workers down. Looks like that's fine. Okay, so that solves a lot of our population issues. And then we're just waiting on tools. Oh. Where do I get tools from? Okay. Looks like I gotta repair this first. All right, so now we have the underground. All right, we made it. We ought to set up some quarters for our miners and get started on digging. I feel the place shaking, though. Best we dig slowly. Indeed. The planet is becoming more unstable by the moment. Proceed with caution. And when we find this tech we're after, you reckon my daughter will be able to fix it? Control of the old signal was passed on to descendants of those that lived here. And by chance, it was to be your daughter that was granted this most crucial gift. Never doubted she was special, that's for sure. We better go get whatever piece of the tech we can, then. It'll be out there in the dark somewhere. Okay, I had to check my stopping point. Alright, I think we're good. Had to check my stopping point just to make sure I, I didn't goof something. I'm gonna undo some of this real quick. We just want to grab our resources and get in here. I think I'm actually... Oh, right. We want to click on this. Though, I need to unpause the game. All right. So, we get that. I should have enough for a pillar. That gives us some stability. Then we get the miner quarters down. We're going to need a handful of miners to actually get her done. Uh, but I'm going to start with the bait. Let's start just by kind of scaling this up slowly. So, now we got six tools. Maybe we can make tools ourselves later, but right now I don't think so. Also, I think the underground might be randomly generated. Uh, definitely didn't look like this. Did it? No, well, maybe I have been here before. It's always a little hard to tell whether or not these games are fully procedurally generated or not. Ooh, music is really good. So one thing I haven't mentioned about this game, I... Obviously, I've mentioned that this is coming out on consoles. No, this is this is procedurally generated down here. I think the overworld is the same, but it looks like the mine is different every single time you come back uh, and play this game, which honestly, I think that's a decent setup. So let's take a look. I want to line these up. I must, I must praise the grid. So we've got five between. I don't quite know what is the golden rule here. Uh, and wait, does it actually... Oh, it does show me. So this is fine, actually. So we've got four spaces in between. So as soon as this is out, I can put down another pillar, and then we don't have to worry about it collapsing. Of course, you know, my miner's in the way, but whatever. As soon as he's out of the way, we can put it down. Position is blocked. Oh, that's interesting. Maybe it's because these can't be here. 
Well, I don't care too much about a... Uh... Ooh. And the floor's all messed up. I'll have to keep that in mind. Well, let's get another miner down, at least for a little while. Yeah, I might not... I might have to obey the limitations here. If we ever figured... Oh! There we go. Well, I can, I can relocate. Looks like the miners, when they're not busy, will clean things out. Can I move this, then? No. But I can move these. So let's just wait for them to clear the floor. Uh, and then I'll scale things around. Let's go back up to the surface. What was I working on? Uh, kind of moonshine, kind of lumber, kind of some other things. Mostly we want some engineers. Alright, new milestone. And I'll have to probably have a separate workers' quarter somewhere. Uh, ooh, I do not have a whole lot of space for that, though. Like, this place is actually already partly tapped. Also, oh, it looks like eventually I'm going to be able to expand and go elsewhere. That's a whole new zone. What? Was that a minecart that just went a... All right. But yeah, it looks like there are areas to expand my base to, maybe even over here. It's like, this is a really small build zone. How the heck am I going to be able to go anywhere? Uh, there's our answer. So we also have paved roads, but they're very expensive. Ooh, increased coverage range of service buildings, though. Only problem is it costs me a stupid amount of tools, so I'm going to have to keep that in mind. Toolmaker, never mind, problem solved. Okay, so we want to make a toolmaker. Scrap from buildings, it's in demand, doesn't really seem to have any limitations here. So what is a grungy part that we're not really using? Uh, well, we have a warehouse, like, right here. It's a little close to... oh. You know how I built these things a while back and then just kind of forgot that they exist? Oops. Where's your fertility at? Bad. Okay, so we gotta move this. But it's fine. I just wanted to see if I could fit two of them in simultaneously, and the answer is... kind of yes. Okay, so I guess destroying that singular tree has caused some problems for me. Well, in that case, let's actually try and be a little bit more holistic here. If destroying trees causes problems, then we don't destroy trees at all. I wonder if they come back. Like if I re removed the road, probably. Okay, good. So now we have some more lumber. I'm just gonna get a warehouse here. We're gonna use this kind of weird elbow that I'm not using for much of anything. We're gonna use this for our, like, tool making. And other stuff. Things that, like, what am I going to do with this spot? Definitely not residential, that's for sure. Okay, we also have some more decorations, including dynamite! Oh, just cover the town in dynamite. <laughs> I would... It's probably purely decorative, but it would make me... Um, well, I actually don't know if it would make me happy. It would be a little weird. Plan all of their projects in this building, making an essential service. Oh, surveyor. So this is actually something that needs to be near the engineers. Uh, it's also kind of big, which is a bit of an issue. Well. Time to move some non-engineers out and away. There we go. Okay, so surveyor. Can go right here. Alternatively, I'm going to piss people off briefly. There we go. Perfect. Okay. I think we just needed to wait for that to come in. Because this fits perfectly in with the marketplace and gives us that final need to get their satisfaction level. The only media problem is I'm out of tools and I'm not going to get any unless I go back down in the mine. Are they, what have these guys been up to? Pretty much nothing, but that doesn't surprise me. 
I did just kind of leave them to their own devices for a while. What I should do is probably give them more substantive directions, but it's fine. We'll just kind of snag whatever. I don't know what that red line is, but it also doesn't matter much to me. Yeah, the tutorial told me where a, uh, a sweet ore vein would be. This did not. But I... I can't. I really honestly cannot complain. Okay, so we want to go back to this. Okay, that gets me a stupid amount. We're going to want some prospectors. Like, kind of ASAP-ish. I'll have to... I'll have to re reorganize this eventually. Probably nix this. How many miners do I even have? Six. Okay, place three more tiles to gain one additional miner. Okay. So I think I'm just going to do that. We're going to want a stupid amount of miners over the course of this, and we're going to have virtually limitless space. Uh, let's see. Put this here. All right. So this area is clear. All right. Good. And then I'm going to delete this man. But that's fine. Okay. Now that's too much. So let's go back here. Prospectors. I'm actually... Minor left. That's truly, honestly fine. Looks like we're limited to 50 workers, too. Okay, I don't have enough gold nuggets for this, but I'm sure prospectors are going to be able to handle that. Six more tiles to get another one, but yeah, we don't have enough nugget. Which means I should probably go find some nugget. I apologize if me saying nugget like that is slightly weird. It's weird for me, too. I don't think I'm gonna stop, though. Okay, so what else do we got around here? I know at some point I'm gonna hit an upper limit. Oh, I don't have direct access to this chest. I... that's fair. Okay, should be able to snag that. Plenty gold nuggets, and... Let's get one more of these. So do I actually have prospectors? Yes! So I have prospectors that are doing prospectory things. Ooh. Yeah, this area looks kind of spicy. Just put that there for the time being. Don't need to care. Is this a bridge? No, we don't have any bridges yet. I think eventually bridge. I need 200 engineers before I can get up to that. So I guess I'm going to have to go up to the surface to get that rolling. Kind of hoping to see if I can find any more tools. I'm just going to extend that as far as it'll let me go. Whatever my limitations are, I will either surpass them or something. I don't think it can mine through bedrock, so I'm just going to do whatever. Yeah, cannot mine bedrock, so that's... Yeah. These don't seem to have resource limitations, and boy, I have a lot of money. Okay, bedrock, bedrock for days. Here, let's just extend this. Anything else I can do. Because, yeah, there's a lot of goodies, but can't reach it. All right, so let's go back up to the sweet, sweet city that I've built up here. We want to... Could pave some roads, which we're probably going to need to do sooner than later. That's some sound effects. Okay, now I'm going to need some workers. Oh, boy, am I going to need workers. I'm just going to... Put them here for the time being. Alright. Oop. I think that's just within range. And this little bit of paved road goes uh, a long way. Also, not too expensive. So what is the limitations? Yeah, I don't want to spend too many tools on this. I mostly just want to... Ooh, wow. That really does extend the range. Okay, so how many? I've got 170. Each of these engineer houses can hold... Oh, what is this? What do they need? Spare parts. That's a new one. 
Uh, let's see. Okay, spare parts maker. Needs ironium and scrap. And then the spare parts can just be made off-site, which is perfect. Uh, let's see. I'll just put it here. I don't sandwich it in too much. Metal sheet factory. Yeah, it looks like... Looks like this kind of off-site industrial complex is a good idea. Pickaxe maker. I'm gonna need more tools. Yeah, I'll just put it there for the time being. Okay, and then back down into the pit. So we still don't have enough for bridges. Maybe it doesn't matter. Alright, let's go back here, upgrade some engineer re residentials. The only immediate problem is they need to be above a certain level of happiness to qualify. And then we also need a certain amount of workers, otherwise uh, everything falls to... Uh, everything goes bad. I'm just gonna delete that for the time being. We'll just get some worker houses down. Though I'm wondering... I'm gonna move these down one. There. Now I can actually scoot this road through. And now we can scooch in some basic workers. There we go. Okay, so population is looking great and expanding kind of exponentially in a way that is slightly concerning. Where are all these people coming from? Like, I was assuming that we'd have to wait for, like, population to just show up from the train, but they just seem to come out of there. It's like <laughs> the train station just has an... I just saw another minecart fall. The train station has an infinite number of robots living inside of it, and they want out. They want out badly. Okay, uh, let's see. So what else are we going to do? What are... What's your issue? No issues. What? Administration? Well, that just tells me that. Unless we're full. Owned items. Okay. Yeah, so it looks like we're running into slight resource problems for uh, for certain issues. Mainly just we don't have a whole lot of coal or other things. Oh. Is that scrap vein just functionally... In oh, is it infinite? Is that the point? Well, we've got some new things. We've got a workshop. A scrap extractor. Oh, workshop. Workshop space. Needs tools, though. Hmm. Chicken, meat, egg. We also have the mechanics. Okay, well, in the meantime, let's just clear this out. I've got a whole lot of diggers that are not doing much. So we should probably scale that up so they can do something. Looks like we've got some more good dig spots. I'm just going to clear the floor out. But... Ah, oh, I need I need one more engineer house, I think. Okay. Nope, two more. Problem is I need enough tools to do it. Well, we hit a the new milestone. Getting cramped. We must expand. Get it done. We'll need more space for factories. And more importantly, homes. There used to be so many homes here. Now, there is just sand. Wonder where it all went. Oh, spare us your incomprehensible blathering rust bucket. Invasa, round up your deputies and get that rubble cleared. Yep. Alright, does that mean I get to uh, take a new area? Oh, this is just, this is just mine now. <laughs> okay, the only thing I'm going to have to make sure is that I actually have a road going out here. Um, I guess it doesn't matter. Once again, as far as I can tell, there's no, like, transit limitations. So, what I should do is just go. It's weirdly refreshing to be in this situation. Most of the times when I play city builders, I have to worry about, like, getting places and... Uh, let's see, do we have any more of those? Not, uh, no, I don't know. Actually, I'm running into slight issues. 
We also have water purifier, wash surface, surface, and a burger meister. That's confusing. Okay, so let's do lumber mill. Utility's pretty bad on that one. I just put, can I do two? No, I can only do one here. Okay, I guess I'll slap a warehouse down. And like maybe another lumber mill? Might as well hook it all together. Uh, let's see. I don't. I don't know how many of X or Y resources I'm going to need to worry about. Need to worry about. So I'll just have that as a secondary area, and then I'll just use this for some more tool shops. Maybe some more charcoal kilns. I. I guess here's the question. What is our demand? Charcoal. Iffy. What's our supply of wood? Oh, we've got plenty. Oops. Unselect all. Okay. So I'm gonna need at least another charcoal kiln. I'll just put it there. It's barely connected. And that's all that's necessary. Yeah, and as long as we have this warehouse here, it'll keep just getting me whatever. So what else are we lacking? Cactus. We are just barely at our limitations. And then I think everything else is uh, either something I haven't gotten to yet or... Let's see. This looks like a spot for a cactus farm. Possibly two. Can I get two? Yeah, place fields. Let's start with this one. It's closer to the road. Can I place another? No, it doesn't look like it. Yeah, I'm just going to sandwich these in wherever I need. Okay, so that solves that problem. Next order of business, I'm actually going to need to... Ooh. Where do I build? Because I'm going to need some worker, more worker houses. We are uh, running at a bit of a dearth. I guess let's go back to the area that I've already built up. Let's see. Because until we hit some kind of limitation here with how far th these resources can travel, I might as well just get a bunch of workers and expend this as necessary. Okay, I'm just going to extend this as far as it goes. Let's say that's as far as it goes. How many tools do I have? I only want to spend three. But I'll, I'll make that super long. Because maybe that'll extend. Uh, let's see. So I could get some more of these. We have a water purifier found in the mine. A wash service. So this looks like another service I'm going to have to plan around. Move this. Yep, that's still within range. I'm just going to keep moving things out of the center. So we also have the Burgermeister. Which I'm... Uh, is this a service? No, it's not. So the wash service is. That just provides it and puts it somewhere. So I, I'm just gonna slap this here. We need sheet metal, which I don't, I think we are supposed to be producing. Pickaxe, spare parts, tool maker, sheet metal factory. The main problem is we don't actually have any aeronium because I'm not actually mining anything down there. I've mostly just been grabbing small bits. Well, that's fine. Back to the mines, hello. Okay, so we need, well, we have enough people so I can actually build a bridge. I need she- mm. Okay, so I can't do that. We have a surveillance facility. Radar. Workshop. Dirty water extractor. What can I even do with any of this stuff at the moment? I feel like I should get the workshop down first. Determines the size of the machines that can be built. Okay, so we don't have enough tools to do too much. So we'll start with, with that for the time being. And I wanted to look at, it's not quarters, quarters. I guess we do need some mechanics. Oh, I don't, I do not have enough tools for that. Hopefully, 
That'll be fine. Okay, scrap extra extractor. Alright, so I have just barely enough tools. How many will this get me? One recruit, two, two recruits, but I need one more tool. Alright, I'm gonna... I'll stick it out. We should get another tool soonish, I hope. They build slowly. Come on. I mean, okay, fine. I'll build one to start. This will let me get this thing. The scrap extractor. Which hopefully gets us even more scrap faster. And then I'm going to have to figure out, because... Okay, we do actually have 41 gold nuggets. I have no idea where they've been finding them. Okay, so that gets us scrap. But what I need is iron, not sandstone. Bed bedrock. Wait, actually, wait, hold up. What is this? Doors locked. Follow the colored cable. Oh. It's the opposite of what I need. It looks like there's all sorts of stuff that I don't have access to. Well, here's a question. How expensive is a pillar? Cheap as dirt, considering I have a bunch of these. Maximum storage on lumber planks. Oh yeah, we've hit that. Let's cause some uh, structural instability, I think. Try and find every bit of mineable terrain that I have left. Just in case there's anything else that's kind of worth anything in my base that I can mine out. Because who knows? Maybe there will be. So, surveillance facility. What can be found on the floor? See how many resource veins, blueprints, and mine shafts are there to find. Plus a radar, which will kind of do the same thing. Workshop. We have the dirty water extractor, which I'm going to have to put over here, but I can't do it and we don't have sheet metal. Um... Yeah, so really the answer is we just got to figure out how to get a bridge. Because if I can get, like, two bridges, we can potentially cross over this. Okay. I'll just put that there for the time being. Okay, I'm just gonna put those there. Something's gotta give. Uh, and I don't want it to- I don't want it to be the ceiling. Oh, they did actually find some stuff out here. What the heck is this? Production chance, plus plus. Oh. Alright, that's a new one. Yeah, there's a whole area back here that I can get to. I should probably stop telling them to build- uh, to dig though. Alright, do I have anything else? Brittle dirt. But I can't get to that. Door's in the way. But I can get here. Which is what matters. Alright. Just put that there. Yeah, there's a chance that this stuff is going to do exactly that. It's fine. As long as it doesn't land on anything important, it's a little harder to tell. Oh. So those are four different worker types. Apparently. Cool. Oh, and there's the ironium vein. But we gotta get better. Wait! Oh, I can dig the sandstone now! That's what the mining tools were for. That I made. Goof on me for not realizing I, I could do that now. Yeah, so bedrock I'm pretty sure I still can't touch or do anything with. Okay, I'm just going to put that there. It doesn't really matter if it falls in in certain spots. Like right there, not a big deal. But I should really let my miners actually clear the floors out so I can put in some better braces. Otherwise, this is going to keep happening. But I'm making progress, and that's what counts. Uh, let's see. Oh! Facilities. Workshop. Is it a workshop? 
Oh, Ironium Extractor, but I need more engineers upstairs. That's fine. Making progress again. Yeah, I'm just gonna... I'm just gonna let these boyos fix. And once they've... Once they've cleaned up a fair bit... Then I can actually, uh, take my attention off of this briefly. Okay, put that there. Okay, we don't care about that area yet. We will. But I, I must rebuild the grid. Let them clean. Okay. I guess I'll move that there temporarily. And I don't think I can move that any further, but it's fine. There we go. That is now reasonably stable. Put that there. Everything is good. The mine has room for activities. So other things we want to do is probably just mine this stuff out. Mine this. And yeah, it looks like there's a lot of spaces that I can get some resources as well if I go that far. Uh, is this? Yeah, that's fine. I'm gonna get one strut there. Okay, so now that that's going, I need 240 engineers to do anything of merit. So I think I need five of these. Only immediate problem is that suddenly costs me a fair bit of workers. As these have the range? Not quite. But I have the tools, I have the technology. Wow, they still have the range. I don't think we're going to be able to go much further than this. But it's fine. So how many? Yes. I should have enough. Yes. Alright, workshop. Ironium extractor. Only immediate problem is I need cheap metal. Doesn't... Doesn't cheap metal require... Ironium? I thought we were looking at that. Yeah. Alright, so I gotta... I guess find... Oh, wait, no. They might just mine it. They're just gonna mine it on their own. So I just need some more prospectors. I'll have to work on this. I might get another. How many more... Three more tiles... Okay. That's it. So it looks like every six tiles is a new prospector. But this will get us at least enough aronium to kind of do what we need. Right, let's take a look. Can I move this even further down? Ooh, but that's in my way. No, so I think I will have to leave that there. It's fine. Uh, let's see. Facilities, workshop. Another scrap extractor? Sure. But I'm probably going to need more of these. Needs to be installed by a mechanic. Anything else? Yes. Nope. My workshop is too small. I'll show you too small. How much more does it need? One more tile. I'll do the, that at least for now. Line this up. Because we might as well automate as many of these as humanly possible. This area is locked off until we get a bridge. This area has room for activities. Or it's actually tapped out. Never tell. But now we're starting to get some sheet metal. Which is exactly what I was looking for. And we're going to need water, first and foremost.
Looks like I'm gonna need, okay, one more. What do they have to do to finish this off? Or do they just bonk on it? Oh, I see, they're adding safety rails to the areas on the, on the diagonal. It's fair. You know, in retrospect, I should have built this first. Question. Yes. Looks like it can just tear things up freely. So in that case, we want to go back here and get the Ironium Extractor as soon as we have that sheet metal. Because I think my limitation right now is my prospectors are not the fastest boyos. And yeah, it looks like this thing will just keep going forever. Sick. Okay, what else do we want? We need an Arist Aristobot before I can do more there. But, at least we're looking at a supply of resources that we did not have access to earlier. Also, there is way less over here than I thought. Just a treasure chest. So yeah, we want to go this direction because there's a second Aronium vein. In that case, I might actually want to extend the bridge this way. Uh, to facilitate travel. I mean, if it's going to be three tiles, no matter what, it might as well be three tiles towards everything useful. I don't know what those rubies are for. And yeah, unfortunately I'm going to need a lot of sheet metal before I can do anything more than this. There's another pocket of resources. Looks like we're actually getting kind of close to the end here. I'm going to stick it out at least for a little while. Because I know there's more to this area. I know I know for a fact there is another mine shaft further down. I mean, it's Steam World. What would you expect? You keep going deeper and deeper. What is that? Prospector speed. Uh, let's see. Prospector speed. Whoa, that's really good. Question. Oh, I can't add more to that one. Dang. Interact with this to open the door. Door's open. Use the dig tool to start excavating a rocket part. So I need more miners. It's a weird thing to say. Okay, how much more do you need? Five more tiles. So I guess it went over the limit by a smidge. Well, you know what? If I do this, that gets me enough. So now we should be able to mine this. Waiting for miners, six. So we can get the rocket part, and we can also start looking into water. Dirty water extractor. Oops. It's not, he didn't leave because of inadequate, uh, inadequate quarter size. He left because he got hit in the face. By a rock. I'm just going to put those in. <laughs> That's dark. Alright, let's see if I can get uh, another dirty water extractor over here. It doesn't look like there's anything of any immediate merit out that direction. And then the last thing is... Workshop's too small, but we want to get another Aronium Extractor. So how much more do you need? Four more tiles to get another slot. Four. Is it just four every time? Yes. Well, it makes my life easier. Okay, and that gives us just enough sheet metal that we can get that down. We got anything else? Maybe. Oh, this, this, no way it extends that far, but, I mean, if it does. I need more gold nuggets. Let's get some prospectors, though. Let that go. Got another one of these. Blueprints for something. Speed vent. As soon as your mind bots cross it, they get a boost of speed. Oh, that's 
that's cool. Hurry now. Hold it up to the city and let us prepare for its installation. The first of many, but we must start somewhere. Ain't no telling what'll happen when we start moving that thing. When it shakes, they hear it. You have to be ready. We weren't ready last time. Who hears what? What weren't you ready for? I'm not sure what that old Rustbot is talking about, but that song is louder now. It's asking me to come closer. New arrivals. New arrivals. Escape vessel. Escape vessel. Disassemble. 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 Six parts. Six parts. Maintenance, Maintenance overdue. overdue. Locate remaining parts. Locate remaining parts. Combine. Combine. Launch. Launch. What in tarnation's going on? The old signal speaks. You sure she'll be okay? Your daughter is fine. She will need some time to recharge. What matters now is that we know what we must do. Recover the remaining five pieces of the vessel and put it together so we can escape. I remember that voice. It sounds so old. All right. And there's the rocket spot. Eventually. I'm going to keep my attention focused kind of down here just because this seems to be where most of the action is. There's more stuff I can do on the surface, but... Not at the moment. Okay, so I'm going to kind of preemptively use this to plan a uh, digging venture in here. And I'm just going to leave some of this. We need as many gold nuggets as we can. Wow, this, uh, this area is, like, way bigger than I thought it was going to be. I was under the impression that... Okay, let me cancel that. Unless we find out that I can't go there. I was under the impression that Mine Floor 1 would be, uh... Reasonably small endeavor. That was that turned out to be a falsehood. One that I'm glad for. This is not a small game. Like I'm actually used to the Steam World games being fairly quick and uh, I want to say to the point, kind of, sort of. Um, and this actually seems like you want to really sink your teeth into Steam World. Here you go. Uh, it's definitely going to be different, I think, for some people uh, compared compared to maybe what they're used to as far as the series goes, but for me, I'm having a blast. I've been playing a lot more like city builders lately, and I think they're kind of zen, but one problem that I always run into is just the utter lack of uh, long-term goals, and like lack of long-term goals in story. It's almost always just like build as big of a city as you can, and it's like it's kind of fun, and that emergent storytelling works really well for a couple of couple of games in this series. Or this series, this genre. But mo more often than not, it's just kind of like, eh, it's okay. Boy, I really need to get another another one of these. How fast are we making it? Okay, so we're producing seven. Demand is five. Producing four. So I'm going to assume we need some more Aronium mines. Each one of them only gets me two. I was hoping there'd be modules I could stick into these, but it looks like no. All right. Well, do we call it here? I was kind of hoping I could actually find the final mine shaft, or final mine shafts. Effectively, I cannot go past the um, the first mine shaft further underground, further underground. At least as far as you know, what's currently embargoed in the game, and that's fine. But I was kind of hoping I could hit it in one video, but I'd have to actually do some editing for that. And honestly, you know what? Uh, I might as well just take a break and say, I think I've seen enough. This is really impressive, and I love the fact that the SteamWorld series is still going. Like I, I played uh, SteamWorld Dig before I started my channel as kind of like a, huh, I wonder if I could do like a YouTube series on this. And then I just didn't, I don't, I think I had recorded it. I just don't think I actually put it up because I thought my commentary was bad at the time. You know, too ho-hum and not interesting enough. And so I've always felt like the SteamWorld games have been kind of this special thing for me to look forward to every couple of years. And it's one of those, though, like, every one of them is different in a way that uh, makes me very excited to see more. Whereas I find a lot of other series and games 
And, you know, they're there, they exist, they get a new new version every once in a while, and that's cool, I guess. This one is way more my flavor. Especially because every Steam World game, and, I mean, I guess Image Inform or now Thunderful, game is kind of unique in its own right, too. Uh, let's see, we got another door leading somewhere here. And I'm going to need some more prospectors, too. Uh, we might... Nah, screw it. I'm just going to keep expanding. How many do we need? Idle, two or three. Okay, I think we're good. Okay, we got another door. I might as well find it. We got to be close, yeah? Maybe. Got some of that. There is actually stuff over here. Oh, brittle bedrock. So that might actually open up as we get to it. There is so much stuff. Hey, and it looks like we're actually getting enough sheet metal that I can start doing things. That part's nice. Please tell me I can mine the brittle bedrock. Yes. Still don't know what rubies are used for, necessarily. That make me go around the brittle be bedrock. All right, so uh, last couple of things before we go. I guess one last thank you to oh, there's two on this one. So whatever this is is actually probably leading to the final mine shaft uh, for this floor. Um, but as I guess one last thank you to the uh, developers of Steam World Build and Thunderful for sponsoring this video. It was very kind of you guys, and it was a ton of fun. And I'm looking forward to seeing where this goes when it comes out. Uh, I'm also really curious about the different starting locations and also playing this on a controller. I don't think I mentioned that in full detail, uh, but be because this is, uh, you know, a console release, it actually does have just like substantive controller support, uh, which there are not a whole lot of settlement builders that really have good controller support at all. In fact, I don't think there are really that many settlement builders that work on controller, period. And so, you know, just the sheer existence of this alone is kind of neat. I'm curious to see uh, how well it holds up. I'm sure somebody else is going to have to tell me, though, because I'm a keyboard and mouse kind of guy. Oh, we do have some brittle bedrock here. I got to keep an eye out for that. It's kind of hard to see, but there are definitely spots that I can mine in. Okay, uh, let's see. So what else is there? Oh, right. Obviously, if you guys like this video in any way, shape, or form, and this game is interesting you, interesting to you at all, uh, head on over to the Steam page that I've linked in the description below and hit that wish list button and try the demo yourselves. There's a decent amount of content in it. Definitely a couple hours of fun, as far as I'm concerned. Or, I don't know. Do these games qualify as fun, or is it just like a super chill good time? I'm going to go with that. Uh, but yeah, every wish list counts for these games because it effectively uh, communicates to Steam that, oh, hey, people are interested in this game. Uh, you know, scale up the promotions, uh, put it higher on the pages, and let everybody else know that, like, this is a good game and people are going to like it. And I think it very much is going to be one of those. Ooh, we got an Ironium vein somewhere down here. Wait, how? Oh, gosh. How do we get down here? Ooh, oh, I, okay, that's not actually as weird as I thought. And we've got another door. We've got a warehouse expansion. Ooh, that'll give me some extra space. I'm just gonna slap, the, slap some things all over the place. Make sure we don't run into any major issues as I destroy everything. I think I can actually just put these wherever for the time being. Because, yeah, we're going to have some uh, mine, mine collapses with the way I've been digging. But here's the question. We open the door. What is here? More stuff. And probably it's on the other side of this. I have no idea. The one thing I, I do hope, uh, feedback-wise, is that I can clean up these cables and the doors after I'm done with them. It's just a little ugly having this red cable going through uh, my, you know, my underground mine base. Oh, man. I kind of would love, love to be able to put some buildings down here, too, but no. No, it's too tight for that. I just, I don't know. 
I would love to live in a hobbit hole or a cave. Maybe not like permanently, but I think that would be a really cool thing to do for a little bit. Okay, I am rambling. Uh, so I guess with all of that said, if you guys like this video in any way, shape, or form, leave me a like, helps more than you know. And if you want to see more rad new indie games every single day, then hit subscribe. And if you want to see any of the previous SteamWorld games, I actually have full series on them. I don't do them anymore, but uh, I might as well at least hawk my old series. Uh, honestly, SteamWorld Dig 2, SteamWorld Heist, and uh, SteamWorld Quest are all absolutely fantastic. Dig 1 is kind of fun, but it's like four hours long and definitely... Uh, you know, shows its age a little bit more in comparison. I guess there's the old SteamWorld Tower Defense that I never played. That's the one I have not. Uh, but I, I don't actually know if that's still available anywhere. I think it was like a download-only 3DS thing or a DS thing, and yeah, it's gone. At least as uh, compared to all of their other titles, which are available, I think, largely just on every platform. Okay, cool. So, with that, thank you all so much for watching. I'll see you next time.